The objective of this video is to show how to form equations to solve energy-related problems when energy is transferred mechanically by a force over a distance. Let us solve the problem below. A ball is dropped from a height h. It takes 2 seconds to hit the ground. The acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per squared second. Part A. Calculate the velocity of the ball just before it hits the ground. Part B. Calculate h. Part C. Calculate the velocity of the ball when h is halved. If a diagram has not been provided, you will need to sketch a diagram to illustrate the problem sum. The diagram need not exactly accurate. It is needed to provide a visual representation of the problem sum. In this problem sum, we are asked to find h. So we draw the ball at height h. Next we are asked to find the velocity of the ball when height has been halved. So we draw the ball at half of h. There is no need to measure exactly half of h. As long as it looks visually accurate will do. Finally we are asked to find the velocity off the ball just before impact. So we draw the ball just before it hits the ground. There will be a tendency to revert back to your old method of solving problems. To solve for velocity in part A, you may be tempted to apply velocity equal to displacement over time. This formula is not applicable as the velocity is increasing. This formula is only applicable for constant velocity. Now to dive into how to start solving the problem. Let us begin by labeling the three points of interest. A. At the top of the fall. B. When H is halved. C. Just before the ball hits the ground. Next put in all the variables that we know first. VA equals 0, HA equals VB equals HB equals half of HA VC equals HC equals 0 Now that the variables are listed out, let us begin solving the problem. Part A. Sketch velocity time graph. Apply acceleration equals gradient of velocity time graph. Solve for velocity just before it hits the ground. Part B. Apply the principle of conservation of energy. Total energy at A equal total energy at C. Further expanding it will give us the equation energy and gravitational potential store at A plus energy and kinetic store at A equal energy and gravitational potential store at C plus energy and kinetic store at C. Put in the formulae to form the equation. Simplify the equation by dividing both sides by m. Substitute variables into the equation. Solve for h. Part C. Total energy at A equal total energy at B. Energy and gravitational potential store at A plus energy and kinetic store at A equal energy and gravitational potential store at B plus energy and kinetic store at B. Put in the formulae to form the equation. Simplify the equation by dividing both sides by m. Substitute variables into the equation. Solve for VB. To summarize, form equation to solve problem.